Hey guys, Flair here. I am making this video to talk a bit about Ninja in general and how it is in its current state, for beginners getting into the game to understand the class more. As an endgame raider who has done speed kills, early week 1 prog and some ultimates, this video I am making will go through every basic things you need to know about the Ninja. That aside, let's get right into it. The Ninja is a class used a lot in this game whether it be for progging or speed kills due to the sheer amount of utility it brings and how easily it synergizes itself with other classes. Contrary to other melees, the Ninja has the most fast paced opener making it the most difficult melee to get into. As learning the opener is core cool to learning everything about it as everything throughout the fight will line up by itself if you do it correctly. However, once learned, the ninja becomes the easiest melee to play at high level due to it having very little optimization to do as everything will line up automatically in trick attack which involves using all your bursts every one minute. The ninja uses the ninjutsu system at its core alongside stream mudras which when combined will let you use a different ninjutsu. And the most important OGCD called trick attack which is the biggest reason why people like to include ninja in any party composition. The ninja features two gauges at its mechanics which you have to manage throughout the fight. The Hutan gauge, which is on a 70 second timer after using Hutan. Having this gauge up at all times is crucial as it decreases your GCD and auto attack delay by 15%. The Ninki gauge which you will be using to dump powerful OGCDs which I am going to be talking about later in this video. Let's talk a bit about mudras first, to help you understand the core better, as there will be a lot of terms that you may not understand when I talk about the OGCDs. There are three mudras namely Ten, Chi and Jin. Using each mudra will activate a different ninjutsu depending on the order you will be using them on. Using any mudra once will turn ninjutsu into fuma shuriken. So for example, if you start with 10, ninjutsu will turn into fuma shuriken. This is also the case if you were to use the other two mudras first as well. In this case, if I use chi after 10, it will turn my ninjutsu into raiton, and if I use jin again, it will turn my ninjutsu into suiton. If I were to use Ten into Jin first, it would turn my ninjutsu into Hyoton, and Chi will turn my ninjutsu into Doton. Be sure not to press any skill other than ninjutsu and do not repeat the same mudra as it will turn your ninjutsu into a bunny head, resulting in a huge damage loss. There are various combinations to do a specific ninjutsu. For example, Doing Ten, Chi, Jin would result into Sweeton, but doing Chi, Ten and Jin will also result in Sweeton. Hence, practice them in the order which is most comfortable for you. Now let's take a look at the different ninjutsus available and what are their effects. Starting off with Fuma Shuriken, the most basic ninjutsu, requiring only one mudra press Fuma Shuriken deals a ranged attack of potency 500. Katon, the fire ninjutsu Katon, is the ninjutsu used when facing multiple enemies at the same time. It deals 500 potency to the target and every target near it. Raiton, the thunder ninjutsu Raiton, is mostly used for single targets, especially raid bosses. You will be using this a lot throughout the fight. Hyoton, the Ice Ninjutsu Hyoton deals 400 potency and inflicts bind on an enemy. It is almost never used due to its effect being very niche and the potency being very low. Hutton, the Wind Ninjutsu Hutton is very important as it activates your Hutton gauge. You will mostly be using this only once throughout the fight unless there are very long phases. It reduces GCD cost time and auto attack delay by 15%. It can be refreshed through various means which I will be talking about later in the video. Doton, the Earth Ninjutsu Doton 
Creels and AoE our own enemies, inflicting heavy debuff on them. And also, it deals a potency of 100 for 24 seconds every 3 seconds. Note that there is an initial hit, thus, Doton is a total potency of 900 instead of 800, unlike the tooltip says. You will be using Doton mostly if enemies were to stay in it long enough for it to be worth it over Katon. If not, Katon takes priority. Sweeton The Water Ninja to Sweeton is very crucial throughout the fight, as you will be using it very often before applying Trick Attack which can only be used under the effect of using Hide. Sweeton enables you to use any skill that requires you to be hidden and also deals damage worth of 600 potency. Goka Mei Kyaku this ninjutsu is basically an upgraded version of Katon and can only be used under the effect of Katsatsu. It is mostly used on multiple targets and it is learned at level 76. Huyosho Ranryu The ninjutsu replaces Hyoton but unlike Hyoton, Hyosho Ranryu is your highest damage potency skill dealing a whopping 1200 potency. It can only be used under the effect of Kasatsu as well, and it is also learned at level 76. Now let's talk about the main GCDs of the ninja. Spinning Edge. This is your combo starter, dealing a potency of 230 and increases your Ninki gauge by 5. Gust Slash. This is your second GCD combo which is used after Spinning Edge. It deals 340 potency worth of damage if comboed correctly, increasing your Ninki gauge by 5. Aeolian Edge This is your main damage GCD combo featuring a rear positional of the Gust Slash. It deals 480 potency worth of damage if executed from the rear of the boss, increasing your Ninki gauge by 10. Omo Crush This is your Hutton gauge refresher combo also used of the Gust Slash, it extends Hutton's duration by 30 seconds. Usually you will only be using this skill when your Hutton gauge is 39 seconds or below. It also has a flank positional and deals 160 potency when executed from the flank. Shadow Fang This is your DOT GCD. It is a completely separate GCD which is used under Trick Attack. It deals a potency of 290 potency dot over 30 seconds, increasing your Ninki gauge by 10. Death Blossom This is your AoE combo starter, dealing a potency of 120 and increasing your Ninki gauge by 5. Hake Mujisatsu This is your second AoE GCD combo. Used after Death Blossom, it deals a potency of 140 and extends the Hutton gauge by 10 seconds. Throwing Dagger This is your ranged GCD. It is rarely used, but can be proved to be useful if you are far from the boss and have no mudras. Let's move on to the OGCDs the ninjas have. Trick Attack The OGCD that defines ninja Trick Attack delivers a potency of 500 when executed from the rear and applies a debuff on the enemy, increasing the damage taken by 5%. It can only be used under the effect of Hidden, hence we use Sweeton to apply Trick Attack on a fight. Mug This OGCD deals damage worth of 150 potency to the target and increases the Ninki gauge by 40. It also increases the chance of enemies dropping additional items if used as a finishing blow. Bhava Kakra Bhava Kakra is your most used single target OGCD. Most of the time during raid bosses, you will be using this OGCD to spam Ninki Gauge. It deals a potency of 300, consuming 50 Ninki. Hellfrog Medium Your primary OGCD used when facing multiple monsters mostly used in dungeons, however, during optimization you may find people use this in raids as well when there is multiple targets. It also consumes 50 Ninki. Bunshin This OGCD 
which is on a timer compared to the other two, features a unique mechanic which summons a shadow clone of yourself giving you 5 stacks of Bunshin. After each GCD you use, your shadow clone will deal a fixed amount of potency depending on the type of GCD used. 200 potency for melee GCDs, 100 potency for ranged GCDs, 100 potency for AoE GCDs. It also gives you 5 Ninki per skill totaling up to 25 extra Ninki. Meisui Meisui can only be used after Sweet On. It dispels the Sweet On buff and gives you a straight boost of 50 Ninki. Ten Chijin This OGCD will change your stream mudras into ninjutsus temporarily, enabling you to cast ninjutsus while pressing the mudra combo without pressing the mudras two times. It will initially start with Fuma Shuriken and will shift to the next ninjutsu depending on which one you will press. So for example, if you were to start with Fuma Shuriken on 10, it will shift the next ninjutsu into right on on Chi. And then when you press right on, it will change into sweet on. Note that if you move while this skill is active, it will get cancelled. Hence, you have to watch out for mechanics before planning to use Ten Chi Jin. Kasatsu It allows you to use any mudra combination without using any mudra charges. It also deals 30% extra damage for the ninjutsu activated next. Normally, as stated previously, Goka Mikyaku and Hyosho Ranryu is used the most under Kasatsu. Hide this OGCD makes you invisible and resets all of your mudra charges. It cannot be used in battle, hence it is normally used before the fight starts in the ninja opener to refresh mudras after using Hutton and Doton. Dream within a dream. This OGCD deals triple attack of 200 potency each to a single target. It also grants you the buff Assassinate ready which enables you to use the next OGCD Assassinate. Assassinate This OGCD deals a guaranteed critical direct hit to the enemy for a potency of 200 and can only be executed while you have the Assassinate buff from Dream within the Dream. Shade Shift This is your def defensive OGCD for the ninja. It creates a shield that nullifies damage worth of 20% of your max HP. Shukuchi Ninjas gap closer, having two charges. It enables you to teleport to the target. Do note, unlike other gap closers, Shukuchi has to be manually placed or should be macroed to be used efficiently. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment below. I will gladly answer any questions you got, whether it be from a beginner perspective or an endgame perspective. See you guys later on and have fun!